Bon Appetit published an article calling this the Cadillac of waffle makers. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. This is the all-clad Belgian stainless steel waffle maker. It retails at about $220. I use this Trader Joe's pancake and waffle mix because is there any other type? I added some vanilla and some cinnamon, as I always do, to help enhance any sort of box batter. Um, took a quick coffee break to sort of fuel up for this review, and then we sussed it out. I poured about half a cup of batter into each of the wells. I probably could have done a little bit more to fill it up. These are pretty big waffles, so it does take a lot of batter to fill it up. Cooked very evenly. Um, there's a little dial on the bottom where you can control sort of the crispiness that you want. I did it on level four, which I felt like was a good combination of both crispy and soft. It cooks very evenly, sort of an even golden brown color across. And I think this is a great waffle maker. It's one that I'll definitely keep probably forever. Um, but I think only you can answer if it's worth the cost.